Hello and welcome to Bell Cave Gaming. Today I'm bringing you an Amaldo deck and before I go into the deck itself I want to give a huge shout out to Edgy who contacted me via the Discord and if you want to join my Discord that is linked in the description below um, but he sent me a list just to get some feedback and you know my thoughts on it but there was something that's part of his list that really really inspired me and I thought was absolute genius um, that worked really nicely with these fossil decks. So I've taken my own pathway with the Amaldo. I've gone a very different direction from what he did with his build but let's get into what this deck actually does. So the Amaldo, we're really interested in the Ancient Blast attack. In fact, that's the only attack that we're using with this Amaldo with this build um, that does 50 damage for each unidentified fossil that we have in our discard pile. Now if we can get 4 unidentified fossils in our discard, that's hitting for 220 which is absolutely great value for 2 NGs and obviously we can pay that with things like Welder, um, get a couple of Fire NGs on there but because it's an evolution Pokemon we can also use triple acceleration NG um, to be able to pay that attack cost and because we are using things like welder and triple acceleration NG our secondary attacker that we're going here with is Aerodactyl so the fossil fangs we aren't playing any GX or EX Pokemon in this deck so it does 90 base damage but an extra 90 because we're not going to ever have GX Pokemon in play so 180 with the Aerodactyl that's pretty good and we can pay it like I said with just a triple acceleration NG or a welder or an NG attach and the Amaldo. Obviously we only need two NGs on it to pay for the Ancient Blast attack. So we're dealing pretty good numbers already with that. Now I've decided not to try and boost it any further than that. We're just accepting that 220 as our sort of maximum hit and going for that two, um, two hit approach. Obviously trying to one hit any sort of non-GX deck. Now, the thing that really inspired me with Edgy is I've seen these Lily's Poker Dolls in it. Now, I thought this is absolutely genius because we're a setup deck. We need time to set up and we're a non-GX deck, which means gusting us is probably going to be really hard in the format unless they're still running custom catches. Decks still might be, but unless they are, they're probably going to have to hit through this Lily while we've got it sitting in the active. And of course, we're running Jirachi um, to support this engine because we need to be set up. But if we can get into our escape board and into a Lilies and then use our stadium, we can start drawing out our Pokemon, our evolutions of our fossils um, without actually losing any prize cards. So that's absolutely huge. And if we can't, we might actually go into Lily's Pokedoll at various stages of the game to buy us time. So um, it's useful right at the start, but it's also useful during the game if we can't get into it because it can just buy us turns that we need right through the game. So to try and, you know, get a victory or try and catch up. So yeah, the Lily's Pokedoll is absolutely huge here. So obviously our game plan is to get the stadium turn one get a couple of fossils out and then probably try and get the stadium again to get a couple more fossils out. We don't have to because we do have the unidentified fossils that we can use to maybe evolve into an Aerodactyl and hit him with the Aerodactyl as our first attacker. That can be really good and if they take out Aerodactyl then it bins an unidentified fossil, further powering up our Amaldos. So that's something we've got going for us. Um, because we're a world NG, uh, engine, we need lots of ways into NG. So I don't know why I'm running NG Spinner anymore. That's something I'm going to change with the deck right now. We don't need energy spinner anymore. Uh, I feel like another fiery flint or a fire crystal could be good here. Uh, we'll just go a fiery flint for now. Um, I had energy spinner in there because I originally had a um, like some fighting NGs and was play, uh, playing fighting dojo and things like that. So that's the reason why the um, NG spinner was in there. You'll see that in the very first game I'm going to do. Um, but we've got Fiery Flints to be able to try and get our fire NGs out. Um, has good synergy with, you know, discarding and identified fossils as well. Um, to be able to use our welder engine. Uh, fire Crystals go and get fire NGs back. I actually think a 2-2 split might be nicer. I don't know. Um, I'll make up that decision when I put this deck in the description. Um, we've got obviously fossil maps to be able to go and dig out our um, fossils. We've got stadium nav um, to be able to try and go and find our stadiums. Plus we've also got um, four of our Pokemon research stadiums. We're also running Lysandra Labs. You'll see the reason why in the first match I decided to go with Lysandra Labs and then just use a pure fire engine and triple acceleration rather than the fighting energy. So you'll see my decision on that there. Um, and yeah, that's really the list. We're trying to get that stadium first turn and this deck does a pretty good job of doing that. And it's a really, yeah, it's a decent deck to try. So let's get into some games. Hello, Max. The Welcome. Uh, 
I feel like I want one less fighting day, Jay. That's what I feel like. Just the three mulligans this time. No draw support. Which ain't great. Can you go out there, Jirachi? Stop refusing. We got the stadium, so that's really good. Look at my Jirachi's attitude. Alright, let's go get a map for an unidentified fossil. Chuck that on the bench. Still wish ourselves. Cynthia. Although Weld is really good for the next turn, to be honest. Cynthia, what are we hoping for? More fossils? But when we're going to need fossils no matter what. But there is the potential of just going straight into Aerodactyl straight away. Pulling these two, evolving into an Aerodactyl instead. And using the fossil and trying to set up after that. We need to be able to get our Jirachi as well. Let's grab Cynthia. Just feel like Cynthia is the better way to play this. Labs. Don't want Angie attached to anyone just at the moment. Cynthia. All right, got some fossils. Stadium nav ourselves. Chance of going down this turn. I feel like it's low. I feel like this turn, the chance of me going down is quite low. So we'll just grab ourselves a couple of you guys. Next turn, on the other hand, I feel like it's pretty high. <laughs> so, rather running, like trying to find a doll, or attacking. A chance of me attacking now is pretty small, I would have thought. Pretty low. Pretty low. Jirachi's making an easy target on these spell tags, unfortunately. A real easy target on them. But that's a nice target later on at some point in this match. So I feel like we don't want to go Jirachi down. I feel like we want to Liza out of this hand. So that's what we'll do. We're not attacking on this turn. We're accepting that. We're not going to attack on this turn. So Jack, fire NG to you. We'll Liza out of this. We do have an Aerodactyl as an option. Let's just quickly Stella Wish ourselves. What have we got to play with? Bills? Uh, that's about the best we can do. Mm, we're going to have to grab Bills. I don't like that is the option we have to grab here. Not the greatest of options. Kind of wish I'd put another Jirachi down instead, which we can still do. Let's kick out this fossil. Kick out this fossil. Chuck this one down. Although, do I want to wait to next turn on that? Depends how much I need to hit, I guess. Oh, I was supposed to play Jirachi. Idiot. Um, Alright, we'll grab ourselves you. I mean, we've got two Pokemon to play, so... I cleared the bench to play Jirachi down. I'm like an idiot. I didn't. Because I'm clever like that. I'm real clever like that. <laughs> the upside, though, 
is if you actually swing in with the Dawn Wings, which I feel like is the only one you can swing in this turn, um, you're risking Dawn Wings actually going down here. We've got another NG. All we'd need is a way into our evolution, which I can either top deck or Bills can save me with a poke gear. That uh, poke gear, poke comps. So it's not, the chances aren't great. There's like seven cards to try and pull that off. Or eight cards. Like the poke gear has to be in the top eight of my deck. And I've got two of them. And 34 cards. So I'm not feeling great about that. But if you take another turn, I'm nearly feeling okay with that as well. You are going to take the other turn. I don't know if you've got enough. Yeah. So I feel like we're going to still wish first, see what this gets us. A board, which is nice. I like we bills next. That doesn't help. I feel like we're sacrificing the Jirachi now. Which is really unfortunate. I could try and get a second Jirachi pull, but I kind of want to save the board as well. Grab this. Do we need stadiums? I mean, we might need to bounce the stadium, I guess. So a dojo might be handy. I don't know. The map doesn't do much for me because I kind of know where all my NGs are. Do I want another Jirachi pull? I think I do. Because I feel like Jirachi's going down here no matter what. So we'll Stellar Wish, Fiery Flint. So we have Fire Engies for the next turn, which is great. And we can attack with the Aerodactyl on the next turn, which is also great. So we'll put a Fighting NG to you. Yeah, I'm building that. What sucks is the Jirachis are going to be easy prey for these spell tags. I don't really have a way around that. Which is unfortunate. I could start thing the deck now. But we'll leave it. So I guess my way around it is trying to get a two prize card turn off of this. And somehow avoiding all the spell tags. That's my way around it. One NG to the bin. I mean, I'd love for you to attack with this guy, but you're not going to be... wouldn't have thought you would have done that. Or well, maybe you will. Maybe you will. I think you're going to. Would you look at that? I do 180 with Aerodactyl, don't I? Yeah, 180. You don't resist me or anything somehow? <laughs> Resisting colours, Pokemon. Oh, that would be good. Um, no. So I think we've just taken two prize cards and avoided a spell tag here. Which is kind of nice. Do I need to excavate something? I feel like no. So I think it's that one. Do I want the dojo? Maybe. Probably not. I feel like keeping the fire engines is absolutely clutch though. So. Let's fire flint. Get rid of the excavation. Get rid of a dojo. I'm going to go ahead and prizes at the moment anyway. Grab a heap of fire engines. Welder. Fuel these bad boys onto this aerodactyl here. All right, we've got our first one of these guys up. 
Got a second one of these guys up when I think about it. Yeah. We'll do that. Go and get ourselves out our Amado. Chuck a fossil down. And then NG attached to you. Uh, still a wish ourselves. Ah, I was hoping a welder. So hoping a welder. That is unfortunate because I don't. Well, I've got bills. We could get welder on the next one as a top deck. So it's that. Hmm. It's unfortunate. Uh, martial arts. Or poke comms. Poke comms could be useful. We'll grab the comms. Not like martial arts dojo isn't, unless we desperately need to bounce the stadium for some reason. For some reason. Uh, yeah, we're okay. It's unfortunate that you're able to ping off with another Tina on these two. That is unfortunate. Which means I need to get you involved and probably attacking into you sooner rather than later. Hmm, that's a point. Alright, Fossil Fangs. Take out this Dawn Wings. The reason I'm saying that, like, you're only hitting 130 with the uh, Shadow Impact, which is enough for Aerodactyl. It's actually not enough for a, um, an Amado. Although you got both Tinas right now. But you could use a Tags to get him, I guess. Yeah, is that. Which means maybe I drop a Lily Doll, because you're probably going to use a Tags to get that. Oh no, because the tags is really unfortunate when I think about it. Because Lily Doll can go down with the tag. So that's unfortunate. So I think what we've got to do is we've just got to hit him with this amount of. Absorb the tag somewhere. I'm assuming we'll probably go to Jirachi though. That's a target. But are you one-shotting me like if... Hmm. Food for thought. Is you'd have to use three on the Lily Doll. It'd be kind of interesting. Absorbing it with the Lily Doll's nice. I have to admit that. I feel like we don't need two great catches. I think we go with Aerodactyl now. Although that sets up the pings. Do I go with Aerodactyl on the next turn? Go with Amado now because that means that you do have to ping one onto the Amado. Playing the Lily Doll is interesting. I mean, if you knock out the Lily Doll, it's hilarious. Let's do that. Let's play the Lily Doll. Play Aerodactyl. I feel like we welded this guy. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Weld up. To the Aerodactyl. So he's now only one energy away. I do need my Fire Crystal at some point. That's going to be super important. Viridian could be useful next turn. Because I'm going to need an energy. I'm going with Amado. That's, that's an absolute must. We'll comms back. You... Although, maybe I shouldn't have come back to you, but anyway, we'll get our amount out. That seems fun. So we've got three attackers within one NG. But I am running out of NGs. So we're going to need to find more energies pretty soon. Thanks for Blast. Take you out. So you have to ping one here. If Lily Doll like takes three, I'd be I'll be laughing. I'll be really happy. 
but I doubt it will. But it means like it's always an option that you've got to consider. Yeah, so one here, three to here. You'll Tina onto that one. Kind of wish I had a world to play to go into that Amado straight away. The problem is you're going to get a two prize card turn. And I don't think I can get around it. Just don't feel like I can get around it. But you've got to get enough switches and all that happening. And if you can't get the switches, that'll be a huge play. So there's the Tina. We'll go to these two, that's for sure. Yeah. As there was nothing sure of that. So do you have the switch? I feel like you do. Which is just unfortunate. Yeah, you do. Alright, so I don't think there's a way that I can get around this. Just too many spell tags to deal with. Just too many spell tags. It's just unfortunate you can get that Jirachi. So I feel like I'm never using you. I'm definitely not using another Jirachi. Grab the fire energy. Got two welders. So we'll stellar wish ourselves. Didn't find a welder. It's unfortunate. I wanted this guy that turn. Wand him right then and there. So unfortunate. Um, I guess pills. Of course, I find the welder the turn after when I don't need it anymore. I think it's just Aerodactyl here. Fossil Fangs. Yeah. Just not able to get around the tags. That's going to be the problem. As I'll attack in, you'll take, like, you take the prize here and even up back at two. I'll attack in, you'll take out the Jirachi, and then you've got the last KO. There's just no way around it. Unless I can stall. Here's another thought. Can I stall and long enough to get another one of these guys up? It would mean I'd need to find my stadium, my research lab. And I'd need to be able to put you back. Don't like my chances. In fact, <laughs> we can't get you back. So my chance of that happening is zilch. Plus, you're going to stamp me. All right, what's well back? And I've got the labs. Food for thought now. So if I don't take it this turn... Because I want to try and force two of the damage onto another Amado.
I think that's my only way around it, is to force two of the damage onto another Amado. They're like great catches a waste, so we'll just get rid of that. Grab ourselves a fire NG. Stella wish ourselves welder. I need welder on the next turn. That's the problem with this play. Or do we just keep trying to delay turns with more Lily's polka dolls? This has got Ultra Mally in it. You can tell that. Which would completely ruin this and you've got a bench spot open for it. So if I take this out, it's over. There's no way I can physically get around it. Just go into another doll. Oops. I feel like the welder is something that we need on the next turn. So we'll run a retreat to you. And then get ourselves out you. I just need to like try my hardest to attract one of these. I mean, Ultra Necrozma will kill me anyway. There's no way I can get around that. If you Ultra Necrozma, you've got game whenever you want it. Um, having said that, you also don't want to drop Ultra Necrozma until I attack in. Hmm. Let's still a wish. Do we find our welder? We do. Desperately need our fire crystal. So we've got weld up to this guy. We've got our fire crystal. Get you up. I think we fire crystal now because that's just a piece that we're going to need no matter what on the next turn. Chuck that to you. And then retreat. And then ancient blast. I mean, Ultra Necrozma gets me anyway, but this is my only way out of it. Is trying to force you to have the Ultra Necrozma and the Metal Energy. If you've got it, you've got it. So, just because I couldn't get around that tool. That annoying tool card. Yeah, so you got the alternate Necrozma for game. So, well played. We tried. Did the absolute best we could to try and get around it, but maybe I'll swap out. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap out the dojo for whatever it is that takes away spell cards. That's um, like the tags. Turns them off. Tool cards. The one, the same that turns off tool cards. I know what I mean. I know what I mean. I'm going to be very careful with that though, like playing it too much, because obviously I'm running skateboards and things myself. So, but I think that's what we're going to change. Hello, Benny. Welcome. As long as I can find a stadium, this is a decent starting hand. Love a stadium and a lily doll. That's what we really want. There's the stadium. Oh, and obviously more fossils. If we can. Oh, there's another fossil. Looks like we're not going to get the lily doll. Unless the Jirachi pulls it, but... Would I take it with the Jirachi? Probably not, to be honest. I have no idea what we're up against. Angie Spinner. 
Definitely one of the way that we want to play that. We're going to grab a fire NG out. We could go and get another Jirachi pool, but I'm feeling like no. We'll just get a couple of these bad boys down. And see what we've got. Up against us. Alright. So what you're looking for is the ends resolve and just get an absolute ton of energies out straight away. That's what you'll be hoping. Use my own Haller, that's not ends resolve. Alright, the chaotic swell early hurts. What we're probably looking for is an aerodactyl somehow. If we can find it. We'd love, well, we can get the Aerodactyl, that's no problem. What we'd love... I mean, absolutely love, is a triple acceleration NG. That's what we desperately want here. A triple acceleration NG. I want a fiery flint. Do I Jirachi just to pull something that I can ditch, hopefully getting a fossil? Then go into the triple accelerate. Like, I just want to whack this out. That's really what I want to do. Or I could try and whack out the Jirachi. It's like the raw, but... Still a wish. See what this gets me. The Lily's a fossil. Fossils are always nice. Grab the fossil. So what we want to do... Fire flint that and that. Gotta be careful about how many energies I've got. I'm doing this too. So we're commenting back one of these guys to go and get an aerodactyl into play. We're gonna weld up. No, no. But a fiery flint, the fossil, and the fire energy. What we've got to decide do we just want to get cheap damage, chip damage into this Arceus, Dialga, and Palkai? Do we want to go after a Keldeo and just get prize cards straight away? What do we want to do? The energy attachment's obviously here. How many fossils have I ditched? So I'll lose, what, potentially two fossils? That's enough to get the chip damage on you. I think we nearly chuck this on you. Great catcher. Throw away the labs and the fire energy, or do I just get rid of both labs? We'll try and play it so we're not really after stadium control. Somehow. Yeah, we'll somehow get away with <laughs> not being under stadium control. I feel like hitting into this guy is really important. So that's what we'll do. Well, evolve you up. No, because I want to evolve you on the next turn. Treat to you. And then fossil fangs. 
So you can GX attack now. The reason why I'm pulling this up is I'm worried about the GX attack with the extra water energy. As then you're taking two prizes each time you KO me. But what I want this to be is like, you can do that, but you're going to lose three prize cards to do it. That's what I want it to be. Where... If he KOs me, he's risking going down anyway. What I'll need is another welder. <laughs> Desperately. And this one that I need to use, yep. Next. A welder and then I need to somehow get another fire NG. In some manner. Hello and Lana. Healing 120 is brutal. Absolutely brutal. Two twenty, I can just get to with four fossils in the bin, but that's four fossils in the bin, which is really hard. And it survives now, and I lose two prize cards each time. Oh, that's devastating! Absolutely devastating. If you want to go with the GX attack, that is. But. We get a KO on this Jirachi. Don't want to play the Lily Doll. I feel like I don't just at the moment. I want to keep that bench space free. Just fossil fangs out this Jirachi. Another Fire Engie. Which is good. So there's no way I'm going to one-shot this. But I do have one more great catcher to pick off a Keldeo if I can get rid of this. At some stage. But you're going to KO it rather than using the GX attack. And I feel like I need to use the other fossil card well here. And I mean really well. So how much damage am I hitting for right now? There's two in the bin, so 120. Need to find more fossils and soon. I mean, 170 necks isn't too bad. It ain't too shabby. Want to go into this Amado? Just at the moment. Don't feel like dropping anything else. Although I've got bench spaces free now, so we'll just drop a Lily Dog. An Ancient Blast. Got 120 damage on. See how much more healing this deck has. It's my first time really playing against this deck, so I don't know what it's got going for it. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of healing, a lot of stalling, trying to use Keldeos as well to make it awkward against tag teams. Or GX decks, that's what I'm saying when you're up against GX. Decks, controlling the stadium play. Lots of different options. Healing it again. Yeah, this is what's going to be frustrating. It's not being able to deliver enough damage. I'm going to deliver 220. I need the other fossil. If I can find the other fossil, if you go into this I can, and I can find the other fossil, I can actually one-shot this, which leaves you with Keldeo. 
such a big turn here. Although you're going to GX attack. So that's not going to happen. And we're just left with having to Ancient Blast. Knowing that you've probably got another Mallow and Lana to repeat. Which means, once again, we're going to need the Fossil. But if we can find it, we're also going to need another Amado to finish. If we can find that fossil and just be able to one-shot this, it'd be huge. So it's a Caitlyn and Caitlyn instead. So that'll be for healing, I'm assuming. Yep, so Mallow and that. But you can't use that just yet. Are you going to pay the retreat and get out? No. Nah. So that's this guy down for three prizes. So I just need one more attacker then. Which Aerodactyl's also good. So I just need another fossil in here. So that's three... F I believe we're right with that. Three fossils in the bin. Uh, you got 90 health left. That's what we can do. Strachi in. Triple Accelerate. To you. Fill out Lysering first. Because I need more cards. We need to whack the Jirachi down. Just a thin shuffle. So we have the Pokemon we need. It's not Aerodactyl. I need to be able to go to Aerodactyl as well. Still a wish. Will this have non GX attackers? Do you reckon? Not taking a draw supporter feels bad. Let's take the welder in. And run away to you. And then Ancient Blast. Take three prize cards. Our bills. Bills. <laughs> Research lab. All right. Nothing's going for us at this stage. So we got one last attacker. Plus a fossil if I can get it out. At some stage. But he also probably realises that he's under welder threat because I grabbed the welder. He's not really, but <laughs> he could be. A fire crystal could be held. Like, there's actually lots of outs if you don't reset stamp me. But there's a big chance of a stamp as well. Oh, an amulet challenge, that's huge. So now we actually need the GX one. Sonic Edge. That's well played. Better played than you think, but Fiery Flint, do I have enough energies left in deck? This is a big moment in the game. I'm going to actually do easy two. We do, just. Alright, so we can KO. We're doing 170, aren't we? Three fossils in here. Yeah. And that's 50 for each, so 170. Good. Come on, draw me into something good. I mean, if you draw me into my great catcher, it's game. It's game. It's game. We're done. Come in, Keldeo. And enjoy the Ancient Blast. <laughs> that was a good game. I like that build. I like that build. It's first time coming against it, and I like it. Good game. Good game. Hello, Lajia Chong. Welcome. Getting back to our classic mulligans and going second. That's what we like to see. I think I've gone first with this deck once. Uh, 
Ah, just mulligan three times this time. That's not too bad. <laughs> it's the only thing I hate about fossil decks. Like, I really hate it. How many times you constantly mulligan? Naraji is not kind to me tonight because I cannot win a coin flip to save my life. To save my life, and I don't have any fire energy, so this isn't great. We can go and get a um, fossil out of the deck to thin that, and then Jirachi pull. Hopefully, get something out of that. That'll help us out. So a dark box of some kind. We can hit weakness on dark box. But that doesn't mean that dark box isn't scary still. <laughs> We don't have the stadium first turn at the moment, like in hand, so that's really dangerous as well. I was just looking at this going like, put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. Obviously you can play it if you haven't got a supporter in your discard pile yet. I didn't know that. Good to know. So it's not a dead weight first turn of the game if you have it. So that's good to know. Gotta get used to some of these new cards. And what the ruling's gonna be on them. I'm looking at this going like, why would you drop this without attaching NGs? I'm assuming you're probably waiting to work out how many NGs you want to attach. It's a pretty good setup. You got, you got the boys in the back, you got the Hooper up front, which is the perfect card that you want to start with. You got two NGs on the field with a Dark Eye already. The only thing you're missing is the Weaver. Gonna be able to go and get a nag by the looks. And then your rogue ring's gonna be able to go and set up the weaver line, so another tag call. Because tag teams just needed more support. They didn't have enough. I feel for them, you know. I feel like they do need more support. <laughs> Alright, we got a Cynthia. So that's up. Get some fossils. Well, a fossil down. We do have the Aerodactyl that we could go into on the next turn, but it's not enough to KO this Hooper. Because we don't hit for weakness. We could try and pull something else in the active right now, which would be interesting. But not what I want to do. So it was in there. We'll leave that for later. I mean, maybe it's something I should have thought about. We got the labs, we got another fossil, that's always good. We got the aerodactyl. Don't have any draws, so that's a bit of a worry. Got another lab. Do we want a great catcher? And if we do, what for? Are mm, you gonna rogue ring on the next turn? Mm. Chuck that down, chuck that to you. The great catcher feels pretty good. But I'm just going to hold. I don't want to throw anything I've got. That's the problem. What's bad is I just don't have any energy yet. All right, looks like I'm switching over to the touchpad. <laughs> this is a bit unfortunate. You're going to scoop up who? Okay. So it looks like I'm really struggling with this mouse because I'm using a touchpad now. <laughs> There's a Sneasel. Out of Rogue Ring quite nicely next. I 
What I ideally want to do is just like smack into these guys. Especially if you drop another tag team. There's your rogue ring. Top deck's a fire NG, that could be useful. Stella Wish is a... Is absolutely nothing. Mm. That is so, so painful. I think we've got to sacrifice a fossil. Or, no, 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 let's comm something back, go into another Jirachi. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing here. Comms back the Aerodactyl, go into another Jirachi. Ah, you. Uh, we want a Jirachi. Go with the one with the Team Up logo, because maybe that'll bring me a little bit more luck. Basically, I'm sacrificing you, but hopefully you can bring me a bit more luck. Uh, chuck a fire engine on you, maybe. Depends. What are you going to get me? Eliza? Okay, that's, that's an improvement. So, NG attached to you. Eliza. Got another board, we got triple accelerations, which is kind of nice. So what we want to do... Chuck you away. We need another fossil so bad. And I mean so bad. Chuck you away. Okay, I'm going to get ourselves an Aerodactyl and a Anoth... How yeah, do you pronounce that? Anorith? Anorith? Something like that. Need another fossil to be able to take a one shot. Although I can one shot the Hooper fine. That's kind of looking at three shotting after that, and that's just bad. Three shotting is just bad. This is probably the GX to stop me playing trainers for a turn. Should be a bit unfortunate. But if I just hit in with Aerodactyl if you do that. It's probably the way that we look at it. Pretty intimidating board state right now. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I'm pretty intimidated by it. Maybe you're gonna go with a Hooper. Does look like you're going to go with the Hooper. Which Amado can one shot. I wouldn't mind another Amado. So I didn't have to waste this fire NG. But you can get the one shot. So it's saying that is available to me on this Hooper. Still a wish. None of that's good. None of that is good. Can you stop giving me just terrible cards? 
absolutely none of that is good. How much HP do you have? 200? Too much? You me a hello. Do you know how long you've been taking? It's a bit rude, I think. Um, grab a lily dom. Can't believe how little all that helped. I mean, if you GX attack, I hit him with Aerodactyl, don't I? Yeah. So that's what we do. That's about all we can do. Get rid of the Dark City. And we'll Ancient Blast. Take out the Hooper. Thankful for weakness. Still, oh, at least that gets my Welder into play. I'm assuming there's a GX attack coming. Oh, we can still attack on the GX attack turn. Oh, what we should have done, and I've just realised that was such a bad play. Because I hit you for weakness as well. I should have taken out the Weaver. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Sometimes. Ah, uh, well. I should have thought through that. That I could have had the Weaver with the Amado. And that would have been the better play. Would have been the exceptionally better play. Oh, we'll see if we can still get around this. It's kind of Black Lance, alright. So it's not the GX attack. Which is fine by me. What it does mean is I actually threaten... So we're going to Fiery Flint here. Jirachi in the board. Empty out all these fire engines. Weld a two of them to this guy. So we've got Great Catcher as an option. Still a wish. We just need more fossils. Do I one shot this? With a third fossil down, we do. So that's what we want. Excavation map. Oh, hang on, I don't have an attacker. No, we can't. Jeez, I'm playing well. Uh, we'll retreat. Pterodactyl. Check that to you. Excavation map. Out of our deck. Fossil. I thought I had the evolution already down. That was just a mistake. Mind you, I don't know what else was there, so <laughs> can't remember. Um, do we want to play the Lily Doll down? I suppose we can. Doesn't hurt, so we will. Uh, we can't use the Great Catcher yet. It's a bit unfortunate, but. We'll just Fossil Fangs. Get 180 damage in. The problem is if you GX attack now, I've got huge problems. But I've got the Lily Doll down. So if you GX attack now, we just got to pull out of Jirachi and we run to the Lily Doll. Yeah. Really wish I'd taken out you out when I had the chance. So you're going to try and run this away. I think we need to bring you up and take you out if we can. Of course it gets our heads. Really regretting not taking this guy out. The Weaver. When we had the chance. We can still one shot this at the end of the day. We got the fossil down to do it. So, 
Then the day it's not the end of the world. Ah, you're gonna GX attack. Oh yeah, you could always come back and GX attack. So we will go back to our Lily doll. That's what he's here for now. To bias a turn. I have seriously made this a lot more interesting than it should have been. I should have hit out that Weavile. I can be spewing this whole game that I didn't hit out the Weavile. <laughs> So hitting out the Weavile is pretty much a waste of time now. So we want to try and get the three prizes with the Umbreon and Dark Rise, a one shot if we can. You're not going to GX me. That's fine. So between Jirachi and Bills, hopefully <laughs> find something that helps. Stadium Nav, we'll land that immediately. Double heads, we'll grab Labs and Research. We just want to use the research, not the laps. Not oh, telling that both laps, aren't they? <laughs> um, shall we? Jirachi Stellarish first. Cynthia. Cynthia probably gives us better odds, doesn't it? Chuck our Jirachi down. We don't want a great catch or anything just at the moment. We just want to thin the deck as much as we can. Cynthia. There we go. Gives me something to play with. Uh, so three's enough. So we need to discard you and play. Barely found you in time. But we'll run away to this guy. One last attacker that we can use. Ancient Blast. Smack you out. Hmm. Still need another Romaldo. So you have the KO with Naganadel, but the upside is I've you've only got one prize card to try and protect now. Seven, eight, nine. Ah, right, we got there. I really do wish I hit out that Weavile when I had the chance. I really do wish I did. And it is time to rate this deck. And before I get into the ratings themselves, in the introduction you've seen that I still had the energy spinner from an early iteration um, build of the deck, um, which you did see in the very first game. So I decided to include all that just because that was there. You can see why it was there. Um, but obviously in the introduction, I quickly flicked it out for a Fiery Flint, I think. I've since thought about that a little bit more and things that could be really good to include would be maybe a reset stamp or the fourth triple acceleration NG. So you can see here, I think I like the fourth triple acceleration NG, um, but I think reset stamps are an excellent way to go as well. But you can continue playing around with it and continue refining the list um, to how you think is best as well. Um, so that's just something to note there. This, this will be the list here that will be in the um, description. So that's just something to note there. Um, as for the damage, uh, the damage output of the deck, it's pretty decent. Uh, we can hit a maximum of 220. Yes, that's ta uh, taking down tag teams in two shots, unless we're hitting for weakness. And there's some relevant tag teams to hit for weakness for, Pigron being one of them, Dark Box another. Um, so that's something that's kind of nice being a fighting Pokemon. But yeah, 220 is decent. We're two-shotting tag teams, but we are a big threat against any just normal GX Pokemon. So if they drop a Dedenne, that's a huge threat. We can take Dedennes out with Aerodactyls or Amaldos. Um, if they drop just a GX Pokemon in general, 
huge threat that we can just take them out with these guys. So that's something to note as well. Um, the damage is decent. I like it. We're giving it an 8.5 out of 10. As for the defense, we're a one prize card trade. Uh, we have decent HP at 150 for a one prize card Pokemon. Um, plus, we've got Lily Dolls that can help buy us turns, which can come in absolutely clutch at various stages of the game. So the defense, we're giving it an 8 out of 10. As for reliability, well, that's probably the tricky part of the deck. We are a huge setup based deck. Hence the reason the Lily Dolls are here, and I think this is a genius um, idea by Edgy. So a huge shout out to Edgy again. Um, but yeah, uh, Lily Dolls are huge for trying to help us buy us time to get set up. Getting into our um, research lab turn one is super important. I didn't really have too much issue getting um, into that. I've missed it once in my time of playing it so far, and you can see the total games I played up there. Um, but we can still play around missing our research lab if we absolutely have to. It's just that we're going to have to be Aerodactyl focused first, using our couple of fossils on the Aerodactyls, and then getting our other Amaldos up and settling, I guess, for 120 is your first hit with the Amaldos if we can't get into research lab whatsoever. Um, but we can also use Research Lab partway through the game if we've got Lily Doll there. So, you know, there's things that are going for it that can help us out at various stages. But the reliability, that is the challenge of the deck. We're giving the reliability a 7 out of 10. So overall, what do I think? Well, I, like I said, I think this is a great little combination, a great little idea, um, the Lily's Poker Doll for decks that require setup. And I might experiment with this combo with a few other decks as well that require that setup in the future. So... Yeah, huge shout out to Edge. Um, loved the idea here. Um, had a lot of fun playing around with this deck, giving it an 8 out of 10.